I have a strange sensation that I'm being watched silently from the shadows. I feel that I'm close to the end. Who was it who used to sleep in it? That idea gives me a strange discomfort. It might still work. Beethoven, Moonlight Sonata, a beautiful composition. Lots of canisters, bottles, test tubes, and other laboratory containers. Somebody wasn't wasting their time in here. An old canvas picturing a woman. Her expression is sad and tense. Old books on astrology and myth manuscripts. Some of them must be of great historic value. Except for some old volumes on various historic periods, I can't see anything special. I saw a similar one in my grandfather's attic some years ago. This is interesting. Biomechanics, afterlife, the last days of the Sumerian and the Mayan. My uncle would certainly be interested in those, more than I am. There's a small opening in the middle of the cover, probably a lock. I must find the key. Physics, biology, mechanics, and other volumes focused on science. Nothing but books. I don't have time to skim through them at this point. The Journal of a Scientist, Nibiru Project Notes. I skimmed through the pages of the decaying journal and turned to the last writings. Nobody believes me anymore. They don't believe in my success. My lab has been moved again and Heinz, my assistant, is gone. The preparations and the transfer of the prototype to Bohemia took more time than I had expected, but the important thing is that today everything is ready and I can go back to work on the project again. The findings will be of immense significance. Why does that dummy Maelstrom have to be so blind? He's only interested in what could save the Reich, things that are capable of slaughter and demolition. Why wouldn't he understand that I am right, that my efforts will lead to great results? He's far away now, so I'm down here all by myself, like a rat being punished. But at least I won't be stopped from work by their stupid ideas and orders. With great difficulty, I am getting used to the cold and the dampness down here, but I have no choice. Even the air is worse than in Nordhausen. During the following days, I will activate the core and try to bring the prototype to life again. I'd like to see Maelstrom's expression now that he's found the old lab empty. Without the prototype, without the calculations, without notes. He's got what he wanted. Shouldn't have been so deaf and blind to my work. 
Then I prove my theory. We will see upon whom the eyes of the whole nation will be. I will prove to everybody that I am right. Then I will return to the top of the scientific world as a Reich, where I belong. I've been here for so long now that I'm beginning to lose track of time. I don't even know if it's day or night. What's worse, though, things aren't proceeding as fast as I had anticipated. It's been over a month now, and I didn't get any further with the prototypes than before. Damn! I verified all the calculations twice already, and went through every single configuration possibility again. Why won't that thing awaken? If only I had another undamaged prototype, everything would be so much easier. But maybe there is no other, or if there is one, it's likely ended up in Maelstrom's dirty hands. Yes, directly from Mexico, like on a silver blade. What if he has really made progress and has overtaken me? No, that can't be. It took two years to find it and transfer it to Europe. And it's most probable that no other exists anyway. The only one was in Jaguar's temple, and everything that we found there is here with me. But enough writing. I must get back to work. So sleepless nights finally brought results. A tiresome cough and a cold prevent me from concentrating and even sleeping properly. But that doesn't matter now. What's important is that I have managed to correctly assemble the prototype. There is no doubt that the original setup, which was based on the first calculations and drafts, was flawed. What pity that I wasn't able to come up with this concept right at the beginning. But there is no going back. Now I'll need to adjust all the energy flow calculations. Endless work and concentration are beginning to take a toll. I slept 20 hours today. One thing worries me. I've heard news on the radio about Russian troops entering Bohemia. I didn't want to believe it, but for the first time since I've been here, I went up. Rockenfeuer Parker confirms the news. Why just now? How could I possibly shut down the research at this point? And first, I mustn't get caught by the Russians. That would be the end of everything. The situation in Bohemia is going from bad to worse, so I'm forced to start real testing earlier than I had intended. If my calculations are right, it should work. Tomorrow, I'll run the first test on a living creature. It's good that there are so many rats down here. The first test came off, and the results have superseded all my expectations. The subject underwent energetic fusion without any harm whatsoever. I made it! Only the last phase remains. To run the fusion test on an entity of a higher evolutional level. The next experiment will involve a human. And since there's nobody else around, the first one to feel new life in the veins will be me. I am not scared. I have succeeded. A wave of energy ran through my body, a sensation that I cannot describe. I feel strength and euphoria. Like in the test with the rat, there were no side effects. The sense of victory that I'm experiencing is shadowed only by the unfortunate play of the circumstances. Our troops are losing. Hauptmann Kratz's units arise this morning. This place is no longer safe for me. Americans are coming from the west, and the east is taken by the Russian. Kratz has an order to help me disassemble the whole prototype and transfer it to someplace else. He wouldn't tell me where. I'm supposed to try to elude the Russians and give up to the Americans. Give up? We managed to disassemble the prototype, but the situation has become critical. 
I have to flee as soon as possible and leave everything here. My calculations can't be discovered by anybody. In a hurry, I threw the key to the safe into the drain in the lab. Hopefully, nobody will get to my notes that vein, and they will be safe until everything is forgotten. Dietrich Ramhart. April 25th, 1945. I must learn what's behind it. It's locked though. That's the right combination. Major, one of those archaeologists is heading to the mine. You know the drill. Nobody's permitted to enter. Get rid of him. Yes, sir. I don't like this at all. I'll need to hurry up and get out as soon as possible. a suspicious spot on the last page. All those machines, complex mechanisms and systems, something big was going on around here hidden away from the eyes of everyone. Whatever was standing on it is gone. It must have been a very unique machine. The liquid in those is an extraordinary green color. The containers are tightly closed. A complex control panel with lots of indicator lights. 
I don't know what it was used for. A diagram of a very unusual machine. It seems to be related to what is standing in the middle of the lab. There is something glittering down in the sediment. It looks like a small key. Lots of scientific tools. Hmm, and there's also a strange magnet here. There's a small opening in the middle. There is no fuel in the burner. I've poured kerosene into the burner. I have lit the burner. The iron is now heated. I've tied the magnet to the string. The knot is firm. I won't dirty my hands with that. Small brass key. hidden writing. Some digits. Hmm. be it. The professor is going to be really excited about this. I have no reason to keep on staying here. I must set off for France and meet him. Greetings, my colleague. How did you manage to get down here? Quite easily. You having opened that door, huh? You've made it further than I have. Well done. And how about the guard? Well, let's say I found a way to bypass it. But let's talk business. I know exactly why you're here. And now I want it. I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Come on, my friend. Cut the crap and hand over the key and the journal. Key? It's a small statue, you know damn well. But how do you know about the journal? Surprised, eh? I have neither time nor the intention to explain anything. You don't have even the faintest idea what this is all about. Hand over those things and I won't hurt you. I can be reasonable too. Put them on the table, then step aside. It seems I don't have a choice. No surprises either. I can also be very unreasonable. Sure. Here goes. You fool! It must not be damaged! It's time to say goodbye, my dear colleague! How did he know about the statue? And the journal? Strange indeed. How could he possibly have learned about them? Maybe the professor will tell me more. I can think about it on my way to France.